Welcome back, everyone. We're here today with a brand new Cabral concept. Today's show is going to be about the vitamins and minerals, and there are five main ones that get depleted with higher levels of stress. So keep in mind, we've always seen all the different images of past presidents, especially, that look like they've aged maybe 20 years after just four years or eight years in office. And one of the reasons is they have such a high stress job, high levels of um, worry and anxiety and overwhelm, and they're probably not sleeping as much as they should. So overall lifestyle, always on the go, uh, not getting enough sleep, and then dealing with high levels of mental emotional based stress. Believe it or not, this has been clinically studied and it shows which vitamins and minerals are depleted the fastest. So I wanted to go over that with you today. If you're someone that lives a higher life or higher stress-based lifestyle, might be worth consider considering since it's not necessarily dis-ease that's going to show up right away. It's actually a gradual weakening of the body, weakening of the immune system, um, graying of the hair, uh, wrinkling of the skin, uh, feeling more for tired, for tired, tired and fatigued, also feeling like you have lower energy, stamina, libido, endurance, strength in your muscles, uh, more prone to infections, etc. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to give you the exact study right now. I'll link it up today. All the links for today's show notes are at stephencabral.com slash 2700, 2700. I never celebrate any of these 100 uh, shows, although it's, you know, it's always nice to just See that you're moving, right? You're moving forward. Uh, I think 3,000, maybe episode 3,000, we'll, we'll do a little celebration again. Won't be for, well, almost another year or so, uh, but that's okay. We've got the time, right? So here's what I want to share with you. The name of the study was the effects of physiological and environmental stress on micronutrient concentrations in the body, a review of the evidence. And this was published in... Uh, I believe Advanced Nutrition is the name of the journal. Uh, yes, I believe that is correct, and I will link that up for you. Yeah, American Society of Nutrition uh, or for Nutrition, and this is Advanced Nutrition. Okay, so I will link that up for you. I'm going to give you, though, the cliff notes. And the cliff notes uh, are two main minerals that I'm sure you've heard myself talk about and, and many other functional medicine or integrative health practitioners, and that is Calcium and magnesium. So, but not a lot of people tell you why. But when you are under a greater amount of stress, there's a higher level of what's called fight or flight in the body. The autonomic, autonomic nervous system ramps up. And so what happens is when we're in that fight or flight, we start to actually draw more calcium from the bones and potentially muscles and food. That's not a good thing because that stress can actually start to harden your arteries. And that's one of the overlooked factors. A lot of people always talk about um, inflammation. Yeah, that's a big part of it. They might talk about high cholesterol. Okay, maybe for some people like it. There's different factors, but stress is one of the biggest factors for hardening of the arteries or stenosis, uh, arthrosclerosis. And it is a factor for heart attacks as well. So we want to look at that. Now, magnesium can also become depleted as well because it's magnesium's job to say, oh, there's calcium, more calcium than we need in the bloodstream. We need to get that back to the bones. We need to get that back to the tissues where it's supposed to be. And yes, it uses vitamin D and vitamin K and other factors as well, but it's magnesium's job actually to calm the sympathetic nervous system in fight or flight and get that magnesium out of the bloodstream. So basically it's its partner, it's its antagonist. A great way to measure yours is through something called a minerals and metals test. If you've never done that before, uh, we can link up that test today. And that's at stephencabral.com slash 2700 for today. We'll link that up. Easy, easy to do. And it'll actually test almost all of these. But anyway, let's keep going. So another big one in terms of minerals is zinc. Zinc is one of the most important minerals that I don't think it's as overlooked now because, you know, during the whole pandemic and all of that, people started to hear more about zinc. But it's literally if not the number one, like one of the very top minerals that you need in order to repair tissues, muscle damage, your immune system, just create more white blood cells, right? For your immune system, it's needed for your hair, your skin, your nails, for hormones. Like it is a vital, absolutely vital um, mineral. I mean, we use a product called Balance Zinc, but most products, it's gonna be in that daily activated multi or daily nutritional support or whatever you're using. Like you should be getting the, the minimum 
zinc per day is 15 milligrams. Most adults need closer to 30 milligrams per day, typically on top of their diet. Now, again, I can't give you medical advice, but that's just what we've seen in our practice to deal with high stress lifestyles. I mean, for the most part, People are dealing with higher stress. I mean, they just are. Life's, life's not necessarily easy, okay? Uh, the next mineral we're going to talk about is iron. Believe it or not, iron can become depleted as well. We see this more in women than we do men. We also see it more uh, premenopausal, but we also greatly see it in children as well. One of the two biggest mineral deficiencies, maybe I'll do a show just on children's mineral deficiencies. One of the two biggest is iron, and like we really need to look at that. Um, there are others as well. I'll probably do a children's space show, but really important that you don't overlook iron. Uh, let's say this in, in men, uh, let's say this in uh, premenopausal women and children for sure. You want to get as clean a form as you can. But even when children aren't on a vegan, vegetarian-based diet, they are eating some meat. They are trying to get their iron in. And I know that there are obviously plant-based forms of iron as well. So I'm not saying that. There's pumpkin seeds. There's all sorts of great things. Uh, but children can be deficient in iron. And when you start to see the tire, the pallor of the face, meaning like the paler skin, uh, the low energy, the low mood, really uh, keep, keep an eye on that uh, for sure. Okay. And then the la- I'm going to give you a couple bonus ones. But the last one that I wanted to go over uh, with you were your B vitamins. Now, a lot of people would jump right towards uh, B12, right? Because when you're low in energy and you're high stress, you deplete your body of vitamin B12, like the energy vitamin. Well, I don't disagree with that. But I think that as an overall, I think we're getting better as an overall health-based community is to understand that vitamins really shouldn't be taken just by themselves. Like you can take a higher dose of something, but take it with the whole family, right? So what does that mean? Okay, so you have vitamin B1, vitamin B2, 3, like you go from thiamine and riboflavin and niacin and you go through all your different B vitamins, right? Your your vitamin B9, we know that's folate, right? Not folic acid, but natural folate or methylfolate. There's so many great B vitamins. But what you want to do is include the whole family. They work better that way and then you don't need to do as much of a megadose. Plus when you're stressed, you actually start to deplete things like um, the like I said, the niacin, which is vitamin B3, that's used by the heart. It, it's the uh, beginning process of creating something called NAD that most people have now started to hear more about, energy for the body, for the mitochondria. Um, but you also have riboflavin, which is needed for all the hormones. So these are really important. And activated B complex is very helpful. But again, most daily activated multivitamins, the daily nutritional support we have, they already include a full B complex. Now, if you need more, you need more. And then you might take one or two capsules a day of something like an activated B complex. So those are my top five. That is based specifically on the research from that article that I shared you, which is basically analysis of all the evidence. Like those are the main ones. But there are a few more. And the other ones are antioxidants. And so we're just kind of use this as bonus because your body doesn't become so depleted typically that you end up with something like scurvy. So I'm not saying that, right? But your main antioxidants start to become depleted. And two of those are vitamin E and vitamin C. And vitamin C even more so than vitamin E. Okay, what does that mean? Well, when you run your blood work, you're probably not going to be like, oh, this person has no vitamin C in their body. That's probably not it. But we have to understand, we humans, it's very interesting from other animals around us, right, and even other mammals, that we don't actually make endogenously. We don't create our own vitamin C, where a lot of others do in in nature. So we actually have to get vitamin C on a daily basis. Again, I'm not saying that you need to take 10 grams a day. But most people would do pretty well with taking a gram to two grams a day as an adult. So we want to look at that overall. Are our vitamin C levels high enough, especially if we're stressed? You can take vitamin C in powdered form. You can take it in capsule form. And then, of course, eat high vitamin C foods. I mean, I've got my smoothie right here, right? Inside of this, I have high vitamin C foods as well. There's nothing wrong with uh, with adding a little bit of supplementation. Again, I don't believe in mega doses unless you're working with a practitioner and there's a reason for it. And it's typically a shortened timeline, like 12 to 16 weeks maximum. But for most people, again, when you look at the science and you don't say like, I'm in this camp or on that camp, and you just kind of keep an open mind, you can say, okay, well, people that are higher stress may need a little bit extra. The way that you can know for sure is always the lab test, right? You can do these lab tests right at home. If you want to test all your vitamins and all your minerals, it's called a starter kit. Uh, You can find it at stephencabral.com slash starter dash kit or just stephencabral.com slash shop. That'll take you over to Equal Life. That's our functional medicine virtual practice work with people all over the world. 
But also keep in mind, you can look at the labs we offer, you can look at anything we offer, and then still work with someone locally. Like, we have no problem. Again, like, our job is to get the, out the information. Work with an integrative health practitioner at integrativehealthpractitioner.org, level two, um, or feel free to work with a local uh, naturopathic doctor, and that would work too. So you can work with our team at Equal Life, you can work with an IHP, you can work with a naturopathic doctor, whatever works for you, we just wanna get this information out. So all those labs are available, the starter kit or the minerals and metals, which is just heavy metals and uh, minerals, and then the candida metabolic and vitamins test, test your vitamins, combine those together, and now you've got the starter kit. That's the absolute best to do, but I'm gonna leave that up to you, for you and your family. It can be done by children and adults, children over three, and then obviously to 100 plus. Uh, we actually have 105-year-olds in our practice, so yes, we can say that we work with all the way from children all the way up to, uh, to 105 years old. So that's what I wanted to share with you here today. Again, I'll link up all the research at stephencabral.com slash 2700. I can't link up any nutritional supplements, the ones that we use, like the Daily Nutritional Support, the Activated B Complex, the Daily Activated Multi, the vitamin C, they're all at stephencabal.com slash shop. But again, always feel free to compare what we use in our practice, what you can use yourself. Start with good, whole food, clean nutrition, and then add on your layers of your immunity protocol or your daily foundational protocol based on your specific needs. Hopefully, this was helpful here today. I appreciate you. I thank you. Do feel free to share the show with anyone you believe it could help. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.